Good morning, everybody. Good morning. This morning, Brenda is brushing Lady, and then we're gonna weigh her up. What we want to do is um, get a continuation on her pregnancy. Um, we are actually having the vet come this morning to do another ultrasound. And the reason for that is a, about a week ago, I guess it was, she almost showed a little bit of sign of coming into heat. And it kind of scared me. And Petra had said that we could do a pregnancy, another ultrasound later on if we wanted to. So I decided let's do that. Just to be safe, just to know for sure, um, let's do another pregnancy test. So she is coming in a little bit and we're going to um, do that. Um, but so often she wants to know the weight of the horses for she has to give give her just a little bit of a shot just to keep her calm while she does this procedure. There's no pain in all this procedure and it's very easy for her, but um, she needs to know the weight of her to know how much of the medicine to give her. And we want to know the weight of her anyways because is she growing? Um, you know, is she gaining weight because of her pregnancy? Um, now she has not been working a lot lately, um, although some, but uh, that will add to her weight also. Um, but yeah, let's go um, put her on the scales and see what she weighs. I have Ken and Buck harnessed up this morning because I'm planning on hitching them up and doing a little bit of work with them. Sixty-three. Okay, so I'm going to write her weight down in my book here, and uh, it's so lady is seven, uh, seventeen, sixty-five, sixty-seven, somewhere in there. Um, now that is actually almost a hundred pounds heavier than she weighed when we went to the horse pull there we went to this summer. Um, I'm curious what Petra will say, but I'm quite sure this this foal in here doesn't weigh 100 pounds. Um, but like I said, she hasn't worked a lot lately, so wow. she's gained a lot from there. There's the placenta all the and water. all the, yeah. So maybe it does weigh that much. Um, we'll have to ask the our vet about that. You but, don't just gain the weight of the baby. Right, I realize that. I, uh, hope, I hope it is from that, that's for sure. It'd be very interesting to know, and, and I think she might know if that would be the normal weight gain at this point. Yeah. Because this has been um, a June, it was towards the middle of June, I can't remember the exact date, I should have written it down in this book and I should find that out and write down this book, but it was sometime around the middle or end of June, so let's say end of June, July, August, September, so it's been three months. Yeah, we can look back to the videos. Yeah. <laughs> so, okay. That's how we can find out dates. Now, Petra will be here very soon and we'll do this procedure. So here we are with Petra, our vet, and our neighbor also, and so I will get Lady and we'll do this uh, ultrasound. Sounds good. So we'll just sedate her again because she is a little bit yeah, high strung. So definitely. I'd feel better or safer if we did it. Um, so we'll do that and then we'll let that's, it. 
That's why I weighed her up too. So sometimes you need those weights. Yes. Yep. Um, although for this, you probably doesn't matter that much. Yeah, I'm just gonna do a light sedation, um, and then we'll go from there. Tent. Yeah, unfortunately, she only goes outside when she's not working, and and uh, she spent the night inside last night. So, yeah, idea. but she'll be fine. Okay. So yeah, we'll give it a couple, five, ten minutes. We'll see how she does, but we'll let her let it kick in, I guess. Okay. And then we'll, so we can go over what i'm gonna do and yes re-explain i guess how the uterus lays out okay. in the horse and how we scan it so i'm just gonna i'll use these sleeves to show you how i scan so there's two horns and two ovaries that in most mammals um and what happens is, so you have your horn, and it actually does have like a little thing on the end of the uterus and the horns that catches the egg or the oocyte and then brings it down into the uterus. So you would have your over here, your infundibulum is what this, the catcher thing is called. There's not gonna be a test on this, is there? <laughs> nope. <laughs> and then your, oocyte or egg goes down in here and the sperm comes up and fertilizes and then it the baby will sit on in the horn on the side of the ovulation so that's when i'm scanning what i do is i come in obviously from this end and i always so you're running your probe along that uterus and scanning it like this so sometimes you know, I won't see that baby right away if it's in this horn. And that's what happened last time, right? That's what happened last time. So I always scan because I'm left-handed. I tend to scan over <coughs> this um, this way first and then come this way. Uh -huh. So it just, everybody's a little different. You know, we all scan a little bit different, but that's how, yeah. So I went this way first and it looked very, very empty. And then when I came over this way, the baby was sitting right here. So that's why I didn't see it right, right. away at the, the beginning. Yeah. So that's um, pretty much, I guess, what uh, it looks like. And it is fairly big, you know, that uterus. It's probably not quite this big, excuse me, but maybe like that. So there's a lot of surface area to scan yep. to see the whole thing. Yep. And when we did that first scan, I would say probably the baby was about this size. Wow. <laughs> so it does magnify it a little bit with the uh, ultrasound. Right. So I can see it. But even then, we could hardly see it in the ultrasound even. <laughs> yeah, so I think, but you can see a heartbeat pretty early, like in the 20 days. Um, so that's what, I like to see a heartbeat for sure. Yeah. But in the horse, you can see fluid and the conceptus even at 14 days. So it's really, really early in the horse. Um, and what we do look for mostly is like, to give us an idea that there's gonna be a baby there is fluid. So fluid on ultrasound is black. Yep. Um, and so as soon as I see fluid, I get excited and then I'll keep looking okay. for that conceptus or the, the embryo or, or baby. Okay. So that's kind of, what yeah so we we're now at the three month point yeah so what what i mean we're, we're just hoping she's still bred and we we, right. we 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 think she is but i just i was a little bit concerned because it showed a little bit of sign of heat there yeah. so but if if she is bred still yep what are you expected to see um we're gonna see a pretty well developed fetus uh or foal at this point so you'll see you know ribs and head and really? you'll see a pretty good heart um we'll see all the limbs and they're actually generally very very active at mm -hmm. that three months mm -hmm. so like the baby will be kicking and stuff okay. so 
I am a little worried I might not be able to see it just because of how big she is and that uterus, as it gets bigger, it'll drop over top of the pelvic brim, oh. you know, so my arm might not be quite long enough to okay. get to it. So we'll just have to see how things are sitting. But so you might not even be able to see this. I may not be okay. able to see it. I may only see some fluid. Okay. Um, so that's that's the only thing. Once you get to that three month stage, okay. it just depends on the mare, the uterus, the baby, okay. where it's sitting in the uterus. You know. So if it's sitting back, I'll I won't have a problem. Right. But if it kind of is in the tip of that horn, it may be too far over for me to see it. So we'll just have to see like. Okay. What, what we see today. I've, I've got another question. Would, I've heard of this before that people will see false heats. Yep. What, what is that? Is that something that, I mean, she wasn't really in good heat and any really heat off. She just had a little bit of a. So when you, I mean, during pregnancy or gestation, you still have some activity on those uh, ovaries, right? Because we have things called follicular waves. So that means, so the follicle is what has your oocyte or egg in it, right? So it will get bigger, 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 and then it will ovulate or, or pop and drop out that oocyte or egg. Uh -huh. And then as it um, forms a scar called the corpus luteum or the CL, um, that's the structure that maintains pregnancy because it makes progesterone. Okay. So even though so that's always the dominant structure okay so even during the cycle the CL is the dominant structure so when she's pregnant she has a CL but the other ovary may still have some follicular waves they just don't you know okay. necessarily ovulate they may but they don't they generally that CL will depress the other hormones okay but sometimes there is some activity on that okay. other ovary. And that's what makes it look like a yeah. false heat. Yeah. Okay. Very interesting. Okay, now what do we do? I think, so like I said, I, very, I went pretty light on her. Mm -hmm. So I think she's probably ready. I did forget to grab uh, some vet wrap to get her tail uh, cleaned up. So yep. I'm just gonna do that quick. I must say, during that time, I thought there might have been a heat. Baron was close by and showing no interest at all. Okay. Which is a good sign, I'm assuming. So what made you think she was in here? Well, she's just holding her tail in such a way, and she was winking a little bit, I guess you could okay. call it that. And just, you know, you're a little paranoid when you yeah. have a Mary. You want to make sure she's bred. So this... I think we talked about it last time, but this is my ultrasound. So I have wireless goggles. Um, and this is my actual ultrasound unit, which just goes in my pocket. And this is the same unit you use for cows and horses, yep. correct? Yeah. So this has a what we call a linear probe. Um, and it's, it's different from the one that we use in people. I'm not probably good enough to explain to you what the major difference is. I'm probably not smart enough to understand it anyways. <laughs> <laughs> so. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to grab this too. I'm gonna see if I can get this. That's the record button there. Did you manage to get yours? Do you wanna just use mine or do you wanna try getting yours? Uh, yeah, I, I don't know. Is this, it keeps going to So, that. because you have to go to Wi-Fi and then it does, it'll hook up to this once you get it. There it is. So now, once that's hooked up, it should be good. If I can get it on yours, I'm just gonna close mine. Okay, it says okay. it's good. Yep, so now you go back to the IMV and then it should pick up, yep. Mm. So where's the... Um, the record button is mm -hmm. gonna be right here, this one. Okay. Can so I see just it's recording? recording now. 
So I think we'll wait so it doesn't. Okay, just tell me when. And yeah. Then. There, it looks like there's a little bit of a lag on it, but we'll see. We'll make it work. All right, lady. So yeah, normally we'll kind of just slowly go in there and then grab the poop balls out of there because I can't scan through manure. Yep. Um, so we got to get the rectum cleaned out fairly well, or I can try to get underneath the manure to scan. So. And we do have to be careful because horses have a friable rectum or kind of a dainty one, I guess versus cows. Cows are really tough. So we always have to be very gentle when we're doing this. There we go. So you're going in with the probe now? Yep. Because I think there's enough manure out of there. So she should, should she turn it on, the record? It's on. But it's record. on, but you're not recording. Right. So now hit down here and then hit that button there. Now you should be recording. Yep. So. so right now we're just trying to get to the uterus. This is a dumb question. Should I be actually you pointing can, at this? You can show it. Or both? Because yeah, it's you can. That's what's going on inside. So, sorry, I I've, have to come back out because there's some manure up there that I can't get underneath, so. Sorry, girl. Can I actually get you to grab the lead for me just so yep. I'm, sorry, it's kind of close now. But Tell me if you need yeah. again. Don't bother me. So often you will see bladder and because that's got fluid in it too, obviously, right? So that's the... Okay, so there I think is the baby. See yeah. that? Oh, so that's yeah. the head right there. Oops, sorry. So I'm not sure. I saw it for a second. And yeah, I so the camera like so. I said, it's going to be very hard to get to it, but I'm going to try the, again. So that that's that? uterus oh, okay. that you're seeing, all those folds. Uh -huh. And that's more uterus. And that looks like baby right there, yeah. I think. <laughs> but hold on. Yeah, see, those are ribs. Can you see oh, that? Oh, yes, the ribs. See, down oh, yeah. at the bottom? Oh, yeah. Yeah, right yeah. at the bottom. So I'm going to see if I can get... That's the head right there. Can you okay, see the yeah. skull? Like yeah. the really bright white stuff? Mm -hmm. okay. That's an eye socket right yeah. there. Yeah. Can you see that? Oh, yes, yeah. Yes, I think yeah. so, yes. So, but it's kind of smushed in there pretty good, so mm -hmm. I'm not going to bother it too much. How about the heartbeat? Can you... Can you... Let me see if I can... I mean, do what you feel is right yeah. to do, don't... I mean, I don't want to push right. too hard, right. so I'm just going to... I'll see if I can get it. Just seeing the, the fold there, we know it, yeah. everything's good. It's sitting That's, kind of funny because I... It's smushed right up against the... Oh, there's... Let me try... Let's try something different here. If I come out, because it's a more mature, let's try six centimeters. Sometimes if you go too deep, it'll scan through the, so that's the head again. Oh, I think I saw it. Yeah. <laughs> that's head. Oh, is that the cord? I just see. I think you're seeing placenta. Placenta? That, like, yeah. line? Yes. Yeah, that's the placenta. I don't know why I can't get to the body of that little stinker. <laughs> so 
so in people they'd probably make the baby make the mom like move or jump around or something right. to see if he could reposition it but can't really do that with a, her obviously but see this is the big you see that right uh there you look at the head mm -hmm. yes that's, that's the, eye. the eye right yeah there. Oh, yeah 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 yes. hello <laughs> but the eye is opening up <clears throat> isn't it or is yeah. that it so may awesome. just have been the way that i was okay. scanning but yeah i don't know why but the eye stay closed the whole pregnancy uh no not necessarily okay no but you see like it's black inside the eye and that's because there's fluid right in the mm -hmm. eye mm -hmm. itself okay. so sorry guys i can't get a heartbeat well, that's okay. fine that's fine I just can't get the angle this, right. This full looks huge compared to when you did it the first time. Yeah, huge. Yeah. They get they grow so fast. So would that extra hundred pounds be pretty not surprising at all? Well, or is that? I mean, the baby itself is probably let me think small dog size right now. Okay. So probably the extra weight is not from that. But it not fluid just, or anything else? No, it's okay. probably more just hormones uh, having her pack the pounds okay. on her. And she has not been working yeah. hardly at all lately yeah. because we just haven't had the work to do. So, um, yeah, she's gaining weight from that. Yeah, so I think that's prob it's probably more a little bit hormones um, that's making her gain uh -huh. extra weight. Okay, okay. So, well, that's wonderful. That's so glad to know she's still definitely pregnant. Yeah. Yeah. That's so. great. Yeah. Sorry. I could not. I just couldn't get that angle right. Well. <laughs> and like I said to you, you know, it's because it is bigger. It's just really hard to get around it. Like right. usually at 60 to 70 days, you can get around it a little bit easier. Right. Um, I think with uh in three months it's yeah so when i do fetal sexing in cows yeah um you can do it between 60 and 90 days but it's always harder to do on the 90 day calves because you can't get around okay. to the butt so i always prefer that 60 to 70 days for okay. that do many people like in the other horse industry do they do quite a lot of sex checking for sex that I don't know, yeah. honestly. Um, I think they do a recheck. I think it's a little bit harder to do the fetal sexing on a horse. Horse, okay. Um, I did a couple and tur and I thought it was really easy, and then it turns out I was wrong. So. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> but you do it on cows all the time. I do it on cows all the time, yeah. and I would say I'm probably 98% yeah. accurate. Yeah. And it is fast. Like we don't spend a lot of time on cows right. doing that. So right. I'm in there 30 seconds and, yeah. Yeah. you know, bull heifer. When you have a hundred or so to do a day, yeah. you kind of got to do that. Yeah. So. so. Well, that's interesting. Well, wonderful. I uh, just thank you so much for coming over and doing this and that you'd allow us to share this with, <laughs> with everybody. No and, problem. Uh, yeah. And everybody tell us what you think a uh, lady's going to have for... A, col a colt or a filly? <laughs> what do you think, lady? What would you like? <laughs> it's your first time. <laughs> so I, I was going to ask you earlier, and I forgot. So the um, uh, how much I can work her? What would you? I mean, I've got an idea in my head. I'm thinking about working her normal up till about December, and then from there cut back quite a bit. Uh, I, I remember a vet years and years ago told me. I think I was about to tell me this, but um, what's most crucial is not to hold back, not to put the pressure on her behind there. Um, holding back is very hard on the on the full. Uh, is is that what you would say too? And, and would you say my up to the December keep it normal, and then from there back down considerably? Yeah, I would say probably up to about six months. Okay. Um, you can work her pretty normal. Okay. Um, after that, I think the full does start to get a little bit bigger fluid is you know there is significant fluid um so i think it's a little bit harder for them to feel comfortable being worked okay i i think it's good to still obviously exercise i just wouldn't do high strenuous right. activity and right. obviously you'll be able to tell too right. you know you know her right so if she starts f not feeling right to you i would just back her off okay so okay. i think it's more um I mean, every horse is a little bit different, just like people, you know? So I think if she's telling you she's fine, 
-hmm. you can keep keep working more right. normally. Right. But I would say yeah, at about six months of okay. gestation, maybe start thinking about backing her off a yep. little bit. Yep. So. Yep. Okay. Anything, any other questions we have? Yeah, I don't think so. I think Petra covered everything really well. Yeah. Okay. I hope you enjoyed this video today with Lady and getting preg checked, and I will keep you updated on her on how things go with her. I'd like to even get her weighed up maybe a few more times before she has her foal in the spring. She's supposed to have her foal in um, the middle to end of May. So there's a pretty good chance she'll be actually outside during that time. A lot of people have asked, well, where she's gonna, is she gonna foal? Um, but we also have a good um, box stall in the other part of the barn that she could foal in if we needed to. But uh, a good clean pasture is actually one of the best places to have a foal anyways, in my opinion. So. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this. If you like this video, please subscribe and hit the like button and all that good stuff. Have a great day. Bye.